The majority of modern video games involve firing weapons, spells, or objects at enemies. But what many people don't realize and appreciate when they play these games is the mathematics behind controlling an object with your mouse. I sought to explore the mathematics behind aiming in video games in my recent math site. First, we can look at the situation in 2D. So I reconstructed a basic game where the player controls a wizard with their mouse and fires spells. The green dot here is where the player is aiming, but if the wand was just stuck to the side of the player, any spells would travel along the red line and miss the target. Instead, we need to rotate the wand a little so that its direction vector lines up with the target, as shown by the green line. And this can be done through some trigonometry and vector mathematics, with the final result giving an adjustment angle the wand needs to be rotated by to line it up correctly with the target. Now we can look at the situation in 3D. I reconstructed the wizard and their wand in a similar situation to most FPS games, where moving the mouse controls the camera and the direction the player is facing. As you can see, just holding the wand straight causes all spells to miss because they travel along the red line, but instead of just rotating the wand on one axis, we need to rotate it on two axes to line it up properly with the target, as shown at the green line. In 3D, we can also choose to represent rotations as quaternions, a special four-dimensional number system, which makes it easier to perform this rotation. So in my maths IA, I proved that you could either rotate it along the three axes or use quaternion rotations and achieve the same result. So hopefully that's given you a brief overview of one important application of mathematics in video games. And so the next time you play a game, maybe stop to appreciate the maths driving your interactions with the world around you.